Number 3 concept. The square root of the following. The square root of which of the following is a rational number. Answer should be a rational number. Answer should be a rational number. When it will be a rational number? When the number which is present inside, it is a perfect square. When the number which is present inside, it should be a perfect square. It should be a perfect square. What is the logic of a perfect square? Perfect square, unit digit can never be 2, 3, 7 or 8. Unit digit can never be 2, 3, 7 or 8. Option number D is eliminated. The digital sum of a perfect square, it is always 1, 4, 7 or 9. The digital sum of a perfect square is always 1, 4, 7 or 9. Digital sum 5 plus 4, 9. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. <coughs> 6 plus 3, 9. Wherever it is not 1, 4, 7 or 9, it is 5 plus 4. 1 plus 2, 3. Option number B is eliminated because the digital sum is 3. <coughs> so, option number D I eliminated. Option number B I eliminated. 5 plus 4, 9. 6 plus 2, 8. The digital sum of a perfect square is always 1, 4, 7 or 9. So, answer for this question is... 1354.24. A simple observation of the perfect square properties, you will get the answer. The unit digit of a perfect square can never be 237 or 8. The digital sum of a perfect square is always 147 or 9. One more question, same idea, sir. Same idea. The square root of the which of the following? Which question under root I will get a rational number? That means question should be a perfect square question should be a perfect square question should be a perfect square use the properties of a perfect square and eliminate the incorrect answer option a perfect square never ends with 2 3 7 or 8 it is ending with 2 it is 9 6 plus 3 9 it is 8 digital sum of a perfect square is always 1 4 7 or 9 here also it is 7 plus 2, 9, 5 plus 4, 9. Here it is 7. There could be a possibility. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 plus 4, it is 18. 18, it is 9. That means here, if you see here, it is 304704. 304704. B option is 524.176. Dot 176. Dot 176. Now, if you see here, which one is a perfect square? Now, if you see, this is 524 dot 176. What is a perfect square? Suppose 22 whole square is 484. 2.2 whole square is 4.84. 4.84. After dot, two digits are there. 1.02 whole square is 1.0404. After dot, four digits are there. If it is a perfect square, after dot, even number of digits should come. Here, odd number of digits it is coming. Here, odd number of digits it is coming. I hope the idea it is very much clear to you. Let us also cross check. For these number, right? 304704. It is in the form of 3 lakhs. It is closer to 3 lakhs. 3 lakhs means 150 whole square it is. 150 whole square it is. 2 lakh 22,500. But I require 3 lakhs. That means 300 whole square it is 90,000. If it is 700 whole square, 700 whole square is 56. 700 into 700, it is 56 followed by 4 zeros. That means it is 5 lakh 60. I require, I require probably 400 will be 
how much it is 400 400 will be 16 followed by four zeros 1 lakh 60 thousand let us take 500 2 lakh 50 thousand 500 into 500 it is 2 lakh 50 thousand these last two digits are 0 4 2 whole square it is 0 4 that means you can cross check by using 550 minus 2 548 whole square you can check 550 plus 2 552 you can check 600 minus 2 598 square check it out which one will be the square of this number I told you x square 50 plus or minus x whole square 100 plus or minus x whole square last two digits will be same it is 0 4 2 square is 4 answer will be greater than 500 and less than 600 why because 600 whole square is 3 lakh 60 thousand so answer is 500 2 2 difference means 550 minus 2 550 plus 2 600 minus 2 600 plus 2 check it out which one it is matching i hope the idea it is very much clear in a perfect square of 